Hi, Richard Knutson here again, and in this 10 minute tips edition of the Dynamic CRM Trick Bag, I want to show you what I hope you'll find to be some useful tips about working with the CRM 4.0 report writer. Now I really like this report writer, and after getting to know it fairly well, I discovered that some of the most useful reports are also the easiest to create. So I'll show you how to do one of those here and hopefully save you some learning time. What I want to talk to you about are reports that present a graphical view, say a bar or pie chart, of some numeric data distributed across categories. Take opportunities, for example. We might want to see a forecast sales distributed across customers or sales territories, or maybe across product lines or across the stages of a sales process. A lot of people refer to this last one as a sales pipeline report, and I'll use it to illustrate. And I'll demonstrate it in the Dynamic Serum 4 virtual machine you can download for free from Microsoft. I should mention that there is a built-in sales pipeline report, and it's not a bad report. But it turns out that unless you have a very specific and really relatively complex kind of workflow running on your opportunity records, you won't get much use out of that report. So I'm going to show you here an approach that is both simple and will always work regardless of whether you got fancy workflows figured out yet or not. What I'm going to do is to use a special attribute of the opportunity entity, so-called status reason, to represent the stages of a sales process. There are different approaches to this, but I like this one. It's easy, it's built in, both of which I like. Let's take a look now at how we do that. Okay, so we're here in my demo machine with an opportunity record open. And as I mentioned, I'm using status reason to store the stages of a quite simple sales process. This is exposed here on the form to be manually selected by the owner of the record. So we'll close out of here. And you can see I've got a number of opportunity records, each one tagged with the appropriate stage of the sales process. You can see that here in the status reason column of this view. And I want to see a nice bar chart, giving me a much better view of this data. So here's how we can do it. Go to the workplace, click on reports, and we'll make a new report. We're going to use the report wizard to build this one. And I'll start a new report here, click next. I want to give it a good name. How about sales pipeline. by sales stage, and then I want to select opportunity as the primary record type. It's the only one we need for this report, so I can click next here. Now, I want all open opportunities, so I'm going to modify the filter here to select on status, and I'm just going to select all open opportunities. Click Next. Now, here's the only tricky part of this. What I want to do in order to group by status reason, as I mentioned, that means that I need to select status reason as this group by field up here. So I click that, Opportunities, tab down here, and I'm going to select status reason as the column to be grouped on there. Now, I could add another level of grouping underneath it, but let's keep this one simple for now. Then the question is, what fields or columns, as they're referred to here, do I want to include in the report within each group? If I want to do a graphical report, I need to select at least one column here that has a numeric value. This is uh, one of those things that might not be so obvious the first time through. So what I want to do here is go down and select something like estimated revenue is probably my best candidate for that. And if I select that, you'll see that down here I've got a summary type available to me, which would not be there if I selected something that wasn't numeric. I'll go ahead and choose it. But if I go to the next column, illustrate, if I select, say, topic, the name of the opportunity conventionally, notice that that's a text field. This summary type is not selectable here. I'll go ahead and do that. There's a couple of others that I might like to include in this. How about estimated close date and 
probability are a couple of my favorites there, so we'll choose those. And finally, if I want to configure sorting, notice that there's a sort only for within each of the higher level groupings. So I'm grouping by status reason there, and I'll sort in descending order by estimated revenue. And you'll see how this looks within each group once we run the report. Then I can click Next. And since I included a column with a summary value, I can choose between table only, which is the default, or, this is the important part, chart and table. And just remember, you can only make a chart if you've selected a numeric column that you can summarize. Again, maybe not so obvious when you're first learning this. I wanted to really emphasize that. You wouldn't be able to select that. So I'm going to select the first option here. This will give me the chart first and then the data underneath it. And then columns of data that are selected are going to display directly underneath that chart. So I'll click Next. I'll select the chart type, and I'm going to use a vertical bar chart here. And I'll accept all the defaults in this next one. You might want to experiment with different combinations there. Then I'll click Next. Build the report. And this next dialog, I can click Finish. Now, the report's saved and it's ready to run, so I'll go ahead and run it. And when this pops up, we'll see a nice vertical bar chart, all right, and it's going to sum up our estimated revenue by status reason, and that's what we were looking for. But we are going to see one little problem with this. If you look carefully at these stages here, the sort order for these bar charts is alphabetical from left to right, which is, in this case, the exact opposite of the way uh, the conventional sales pipeline graph would be viewed. I want to see qualify, then prepare, then close my three stages from left to right, but since this sorts alphabetically, it doesn't give me what I want. There's no capability of manually sorting this, and uh, I'm not clever enough to always be able to come up with alternative names for my sales stages that also happen to give me the right alpha sort order. So, what can we do about that? Well, fortunately, there's an easy fix you can implement with very slight customization. I'll keep the report viewer open, minimize it here, and let's uh, make a quick change to this and see if we can solve our problem. So I'm going to go to Settings, click on Customization, Customize Entities, and I'll navigate down and find the Opportunity Entity. Now I'll open up its uh, customization user interface click on Attributes, and now I need to scroll down here and locate that Status Reason attribute that we're using for the sales process stages here. So, you notice here it's in the right order, Qualify, Prepare, and Close. Well, the trick is to preface each one of these with a number that will force the sort order to be in the correct way we want it for our sales pipeline. So I'll go ahead and do that. Make those respectively 1, 2, and 3. I'll save and close. And I'll publish it. Let's refresh the report viewer. And now, bingo. Qualify, prepare, and close right there. We've maintained the names of our stages. We've got this in the right order. This works any time you have numeric data that can be distributed across various categories. Other obvious examples include quotes, orders, invoices, things like that. But some of you might be thinking, well, what if instead of a numeric value such as estimated revenue, you want to see a count of records in each category? This comes up a lot too. How many counts or contacts for each sales rep? how many cases of each case type, and so forth. If you try to create a graphical representation of that, it's not quite as easy, since it isn't obvious what numeric data you can use to summarize the way we did in this example. But this is just a 10-minute tip, so I have to leave that as a challenge for now, and I'll present the solution to it in my next 10-minute tip. So for now, Richard Knutson signing off. If you found this helpful, you might like my blog, The Dynamic CRM Trick Bag, not surprisingly, www dot dynamic serum trick bag dot com